Hello and welcome to EV Car Share. So, my last video on battery degradation after two years of owning the vehicle seemed to be quite popular. So lots of people watched it, lots of um, views on the, on the channel, extra subscribers, all that sort of stuff. So, first of all, thank you everybody, that's great. Um, great to see that stuff that I've been filming has been useful, which is why I'm doing it. Um, but also great to see that people are getting behind me and kind of um, enjoying watching the videos and having some discussion. And there was more comments than usual as well, so that was all good as well. So all is good in that respect. Um, from me, I'm gonna say thank you very much and, and keep it up. Um, but it kind of got me thinking, well, maybe I need to do a second video, not on battery degradation, but kind of more generally on battery health after two years and tried to answer some of the questions in the comments and, and kind of delve into things a bit more. So what, what did I get asked? There was various things on um, the difference between the voltage of the minimum cell and the maximum cell, whether I had any dead cells, those sorts of questions. Um, and also, of course, there was the how much do you DC charge? How much do you AC charge? And all that sort of stuff. So I kind of want to just go into the car scanner app um, just to kind of show you some of those extra details for those who are interested, of course. If you're not interested, then fine, go and watch something else on YouTube. Go and see cats falling off sideboards or, or whatever um, people watch on YouTube if they're not watching me. Um, or, I mean, there's loads of stuff, isn't there? So I'm going to switch to my little camera. I have the app showing down here on my phone. Um, I'm not going anywhere in the car today, I'm just sat stationary and we will have a look at some of the extra data. So let me just start this guy. So hopefully the glare isn't too bad on the phone. This is always a problem with this phone. Um, but here you can you can see we have car scanner, I have a screen on. At the top here we have the maximum cell voltage and the minimum cell voltage. So you can see as we sat here not doing anything, just idle, the minimum cell voltage is 3.74 volts and the maximum cell voltage is 3.74 volts. So that's all of the cells. I think there's 190 something cells, maybe it's 192. If, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, all of the cells are all exactly the same to 0 0.01 of a volt. I think it actually might be 0 0.02 of a volt. They seem to fluctuate in even numbers rather than every number. Um, you can see down here the reported state of health is 99.1. So that's what the car reports the battery state of health as. Um, as discussed before, it kind of hides the first bit of degradation. So it only starts to drop below 100% when you drop below around 70 kilowatt hours remaining, if I'm to understand it correctly. Now that's, that's looking at one screen. If we scroll to this side, you can see the screen that shows all of the cell voltages. So I mentioned on that previous screen that they are all at 3.74, minimum and maximum of 3.74. Here you can see that as a chart, you can see all of these voltages all, all the same. Now, if I accelerate, I'm not going anywhere today, so I'm not going to, but if I accelerate, all of those voltages will drop down because there'll be a draw of power and that causes a, a drop of voltage. And then if I were to put on maximum regen, all those voltages would jump up uh, because you, you get a up kick in the voltage per cell um, as you apply power to the battery. Again, if you were to charge, obviously they'd all kick up a bit, but then because it's charging, you would, you would see them continually go up because you're charging them up. So when you're fully charged, you have a higher voltage when you are um, empty of charge, then you clearly have a lower voltage. That's how batteries work. If I scroll again to this side, you can see some of the usage data. So I don't know how 
um, accurate this is, but you can see that the accumulated quick charging energy is 449 kilowatt hours, whereas the accumulated normal charging energy is 12,920. So this will be the slow AC charging and this will be the DC charging um, approximately. So you can see I'm well skewed towards AC charging. I do most of my charging at home on my driveway. Um, but there is some DC charging. I don't avoid it. Um, I need to use it because I travel long distances sometimes. Again, you can see the charging counter here, the AC charging counter, and also this one that's a term referred to as number of standard charging. Um, those two are the same, the 931. What's slightly confusing is above you have the opposite to the AC charging counter is a readout called DC charging counter. But then you also have a, a quick charging, number of quick charging. And these two events are different. So I don't know quite what the difference is between those. If, if anybody does know, if you have any um, proper Kia technicians out there who want to chime in and tell us what the difference is between those that would be great to know um, so it's telling me i've done 50 of those or 39 depending on which one you take as, as reality again you can look further across onto the cumulative time so i've spent 12 hours charging on dc i've spent 2555 hours charged on ac the final value here zero and zero is the current plug-in time and i'm not plugged in so they're both zero obviously um, but this shows you kind of my my charging history my history of charging so how how i've charged the car during the two years that i've had the car uh, nobody else has had the car i've had it from new i bought it brand new um, of course it would have been charged in the testing and uh, before coming to me to some extent um, but all of this pretty much is down to me so this is me and my style of of driving <clears throat> so yeah so that's really the data i wanted to show it's not a long video um not going to give you i'm not going to analyze that data in any respect really apart from the fact that having all the cell voltages like this all exactly the same um, is obviously very healthy um, you don't want to see a battery where you have a big variation in cell voltages and you definitely don't want to see a battery where you have a dead cell where the cell is just reading um, way below all of the rest so and um, that's very good and you can see as well worth noting that this scale runs on the y-axis here from 3 volts up to 4.4 volts so it's quite zoomed in um, it's not showing down from zero um, so it is quite a zoomed in graph which is allows you to see any fluctuations if they do occur and um, while I was talking there there was one cell that just kind of dipped a little bit and then came back up um, but that's quite normal you kind of expect to see that so yeah as I say um, I have no more analysis to do on that data i just wanted to show you that data i don't know whether or not my dc charging compares to other people's dc charging or ac charging whether i do more of it less of it i mean that's that's something i can't really tell can't really tell you um what i know is this is my car this is what i've done this is how it is um, and that really is part of the purpose of this channel, just to kind of show you that, because people talk about real life with an EV or how they don't or do match to somebody's real reality. Um, that's what I wanted to show really. That's the whole point of the channel is just to show you my reality as it occurs, um, just so you can have like a fly on the wall view into my life with this car. Um, I don't know if mine is the average or the, rec the expected um, result, but that's, that's that. You just have to take it with whatever pinch of salt you prefer. Um, so hopefully this has been a useful video hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what I've been able to show and if you have please subscribe like the video and also if you've got comments on what you've just seen in terms of my data you want to share your own of course you can do that put those down in, in the comments and thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you again next time